This is another two month update for the Skin is In 2024 Panning Project. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab group project and it was created by Jessica Lee and Amanda. I will have them linked down in the description box below along with a link to sign up. You can always jump in where you are and also a list of participants in case you want to follow more people in this project. It is a year-long project. You do monthly updates. You can choose as many projects, products as you would like. Uh, set your goals however you choose to do it. It is pretty easygoing, laid-back project. I currently have 25 products in this project and I just keep randomly adding things which is fun for me actually. I do enjoy this project. I will just be going over the products that I have actual usage on. Starting with this Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. This is a 10% niacinamide serum and it is a very nice serum. I really did enjoy this. I used this a total of 87 times. You can see that that is where I started. So lots of product usage in this bottle and this was very reasonable. I don't remember right off the top of my head how much it cost but I want to say it's like under $10 or like $12, $10, $12, somewhere around in there. But I have finished it. It is all gone and I have started on another product. Next, I have this Lancome Regenery Lift Multi-Action Night Cream. This was sent to me in PR by Lancome. I have used this 11 times since the last update for a total of 57 times. And as you can see, I am almost done with it, which makes me sad because this is a really, really nice cream. I love that it should be refillable. I don't, it seems like I looked for these and I couldn't find refills but you can use the jar for something else which is phenomenal phenomenal wonderful product next is this origins mega mushroom relief and resilience lotion and again it was in one of those big shaker bottles i put it in the spray bottle which makes it so much easier to use the big bottle is over there somewhere. I'm not going to go get it. It still has a lot of product in it because it was a very large bottle. I have used this five times since the last update for a total usage so far of 73 times. I do enjoy this product. Not sure that I would repurchase it though. Next, I have the Pericone MD Soothing and Hydrating eye cream. I used this 16 times since the last update for a total of 71 usage uses and that's how much I have left. I'm thinking it'll probably take me another couple of months to get this done even though I'm using it quite frequently. I don't use a lot of it because it is a very thick cream which will cause melia under my eyes so I put it on kind of sparingly but this is a very nice product I really do enjoy it next is the Ren clean skin care ever calm global protection day cream and I have used this once <laughs> since the last update for a total of 47 uses and you can see that I have just a tiny bit of usage there. It's an airless pump so it's going up that way. It is a nice product. I just do not like the smell at all. So I have been 
trying to remember to use it on my arms so that I can get it used up. Next is my rose water. This is Baja Basics 100% pure and organic rose water and I have used this 11 times since the last update for a total of 29 uses and it is finished. Yay! And then we have the Tony Moly Chock Chock Green Tea Watery Lotion. I really do like this product. You can see my progress lines there. I used this 15 times since the last update for a total of 25 uses. I cannot tell you how many bottles of this I have been through. I really, really enjoy this product. Next is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. You can see my progress lines there. I used this 16 times since the last update for a total so far of 64 uses. So, you can see how many uses are going to be in this four ounce bottle and I use six to seven drops once a day. I think I use it once a day, but even though you pay a little bit for this, it'll last you a really long time. Next is the Timeless Matrixel 3000 Serum. I have used this four times since the last update for a total of 37 uses. You can see my progress there. Again, big bottle, four ounces, will last you quite a long time. The next timeless product that I have is my vitamin C serum. This is the 20% vitamin C furelic acid with vitamin E. I love this. This is my holy grail vitamin C serum. I have used this 15 times since the last update. 90 all together and I absolutely love this product. I can't tell you how many bottles of these as well that I have been through. Next is this Wishful Honey Balm. I love this. It is a jelly moisturizer and I prefer to use this more in the winter time. You can see I don't have a lot left. I've used it twice for a total of eight times since I put it into this project and I don't remember exactly when I rolled it in. Wonderful product. It's just a little too heavy for me in the summertime, but it is wonderful in the wintertime. Next is this Wildcat Orchid Stem Cell Magnolia Berry Adaptogen Eye Gel. It says on there every damn day. <laughs> I have used this 18 times since the last update for a total of 120 uses. I have just a little bit of product left that will be gone by the next update. And because I finished this, I am rolling in the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%. I used to use this all the time before I tried the Good molecules, nice cinnamon. I quit using this because it foams and I don't like that. And I was hoping that maybe they had reformulated or done something to get it not to foam. It still foams. I don't know why that bothers me, but I just don't care for that feeling of it foaming in my hand and then putting it on my skin. But it is still a really good product and I will continue to keep using it. I'm not sure which one is better. I mean, as far as, as you know, working, whether it's the good molecules or the ordinary. I don't know. Next is this 111 Skin. This is a Rose Gold Radiance Booster, and I just rolled this in so that I can get it used up. I've used it um, five times since I rolled it in. I also rolled in these Depthology Black Caviar Collagen Hydrogel Eye Patches because I had some eye patches in another project that I completed so I wanted to roll these in. I really do enjoy these. They work very very well. 
these were sent to me by Deathology in PR, and I am absolutely enjoying them. And because why not, I'm going to roll in two more skincare products. I really do enjoy this project, and I will probably just, even at the end of the year, I don't know if they'll bring this back as a Fantastic Ladies Collab project for 2025, but even if they don't, I'm going to continue to do it because I want y'all to see how many uses you can get out of your products. Even though they might seem a little expensive, they really will last you a long time. So I'm just going to be constantly rolling things in and rolling them out when I'm done using them and seeing how much usage I get out of them. It's actually very interesting to my little nerdy data brain. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rolling in this Saccharomyces, sacram I, I gotta figure out how to pronounce that. Fermented 30% milky toner from The Ordinary. This is a new product and I have used it already a couple of times and I really, really like this product. I need to educate myself more on exactly what it does but it makes my skin feel fabulous, and I am so far I'm loving it, loving it. I also got another acid from The Ordinary. This is the Lactic Acid 10%, and I have actually been using these together, and they, they play very nicely together, and I am enjoying this as well. Um, I heard or read somewhere that this was mild enough that you could put it directly under your eyes, which I have been doing with no issues. So I'm looking forward to seeing what benefit I might get from that, especially with the, I'm trying to get rid of the little bit of melia that I have there under my eyes. So, so that's my update for Skin Is In 2024. Don't forget to go down and check out Jessica Check out the Fantastic Ladies Collab. Sign up. Follow all the people that are on the list. If you want to do that, let me know down in the comments if you're doing this panning project. Or let me know down in the comments what new skincare products you have found recently that you're using because I'm always, always looking for good skincare. So make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscription button if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you being here and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay. Love you. Bye.